or we'll goddamn bomb them. Well, when's the last white people you can remember that we bombed? Can you remember the last white? Can you remember any white people we've ever bombed? The Germans, those are the only ones. And that's only because they were trying to cut in on our action. They wanted to dominate the world. Bullshit. That's our fucking job. That's our fucking job. Boy, Carlin had it right, didn't he? Yeah. You know... You have to call this what it is. It's an explicit act of war. Illegal. Was not authorized by Congress. Congress is the only branch of government authorized to declare war. You Republicans out there, you know, you 63 million morons, idiots, and rubes, hickbillies that voted for Trump, pick up a constitution and read the goddamn document the trump administration just plunged the region into a massive secretarian and bloody crisis along with it this country tweeted in this country tweeted al jazeera journalist sana seed you know the potential of this war is at this point what we can theorize all all day long but you you have to look at the hands that are directing this action you know I remember, what, 24 hours ahead of time, Darren? Secretary of Defense Esper told reporters that U.S. military is willing and ready to undertake preemptive strikes against Iranian-backed militants. Couldn't you, right then and there, said they're on their way? Mm -hmm. That was less than 24 hours later. This this takes place. Of course. And, you know, you, these aren't responses. You have to get that out of your mind. This isn't retaliation. This isn't Trump waking up, putting his cheeseburger down at 2 in the morning and saying, hey, you know what? Our people are in danger over there. These have been long-range objectives. This is number step number 43. Step number 44 is ready to go into action. The end result is what you need to understand. The unilateral action by United States now uh, Israel, Israel. I predict on this show within a couple of days we'll be making some sort of an alignment statement with the United States. Mm -hmm. If they don't get attacked first, yeah, and then it's Katie which, bar the door, which that could happen too. Israel does not want any negotiations with uh, Iran. They will go for the juggler, and Trump will let them do it, and from there. Will, um, you know, this is not hyperbole. Will these major world powers like China sit back and watch Iran knocked off the map uh, or t uh, taken over? Uh, I don't believe it. But that's no. what Israel has wanted. They've had a hard on for that objective for years. Yep. And they're, and, they're and, and drooling for, at their mouth right and, now. And for that matter, conservative Republicans, conservative Americans. They have, but Israel is in that region. Remember how they have warned and warned and warned about the nuclear buildup in Iran? Mm -hmm. That is their counter check in that area geopolitically, and they don't want it there. And again, I'm not talking about sanctions. I'm not talking about bravado, a uh, comparison between Trump and uh, the Holomania. I'm talking about complete obliteration of Iran. That, if we're again, if you go back to my premise that this is all mapped out, mm -hmm. we're just going point by point, with the ultimate objective, the annihilation of Iran. And I'm telling you, the world powers won't sit back and let that happen. So figure it out. Yep. We're in bad times right now, folks. We've warned you. We've warned you for weeks and months. We've warned you since the night of the election. Now, do you believe us? I think it's time. I think it's time to believe us. It's also time for protest, we need to take a page out of what the Yellow Vest have been doing in France, and it needs to be applied here. Immediately. Whether whether that's burning yachts in dry dock, whether that's strikes, whether that's shutting off the power to the police and to the rich and turning on the power to the poor, that needs to happen here, folks. Not yesterday. It needs to happen no. now. Should have happened yesterday. There's a, there should be announcements right now mm -hmm. to gather in Washington. There should be. Do you think it'll happen? Honestly, do you think it'll happen? No. No. I think the next step will be a moderate retaliation by Iran. Mm -hmm. And then 
The United States, with the impetus of Israel, will answer that with an acceleration, and it will not stop. I think you're right. I really do. And uh, the impeachment potential is going to be so far back Mm -hmm. in the attention of the American public, and Trump is getting exactly what he wants. He's making his ravenous, hawk, bloodthirsty hounds satisfied. He's giving his base the most pure red meat you could possibly imagine, and he's taking the spotlight off of the impeachment. Yes. Merry Christmas. Yeah. There you go, folks. All right. Well, I tell you what, let's go on to our next segment here. It's an old segment that we always do every year, but we need to play the appropriate music. Stop. Hammer time. Yeah. It's hammer time. It's time to drop the hammer on the douchebag of the week. We have two winners this week, so whenever we have two winners, we also got to play this sound clip. The double douche. The double douche. Ladies and gentlemen, Wade Garrett. Exactly right. All right, let's go to winner number one this week. And they're, they have something in common. They're both singers. Winner number one this week. Rock star, former rock star, I guess. He's kind of lost his way. Meatloaf. I have this. This is by Rebecca Davison for the Daily Mail. Listen to this. Meatloaf, who's now 72, by the way, most probably most famous for songs in the 70s, including Paradise by the Dashboard Light and Two Out of Three Ain't Bad, Went on to the Daily Mail and had an interview. He said that Greta Thunberg has been brainwashed. Oh, boy. Greta's been brainwashed? Yes. Is that what brainwashed people do? Do they speak in a higher educational level than the fourth grade level, which we said on this show last week is where Trump is? Does anybody wonder how a Swedish, what is she, 14 years old? 16. 16-year-old can, can speak much more fluently English than the President of the United States. Yeah. I guess that's what brainwashing does? I guess so. Uh, By the way, Meatloaf was a vegetarian for 11 years. Did you know that? Your name is Meatloaf and you're vegetarian? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Define irony. I call him hamburger helper. (laughs) (laughs) Listen to what he said. Uh, I'm going further down in the Daily Mail article. Uh, Meat, who famous, by the way, he likes to be called Meat. Meat is his first name. Loaf is his last name. Meat Loaf. Meat, who famously worked with Donald Trump on The Apprentice, Celebrity Apprentice, back in 2010, said he believes that there's no such thing as climate change. <laughs> Quote, I feel for that great, uh, she has been brainwashed into thinking that there's climate change and there isn't. She hasn't done anything wrong but she's been forced into thinking that what she is saying is true, end of quote. That's, to me, the number one card to prove you're a total idiot. I don't know. It used to be the mental health services thought maybe that when somebody comes in and claims they're Jesus Christ, that was the first and strongest indication of mental illness, right? Remove that one. Today it is when somebody comes in and says that global warming is a myth, Mm -hmm. supersedes claiming you're God, supersedes your, the, the Easter Bunny, you are effing nuts. Yes. Let me continue. There's a little bit more to this interview. So he starts bringing up his sex life in this interview, and he's married now. His wife's name is Deborah Gillespie. He's admitted that he's never had a problem getting beautiful women and that many of his songs do talk about his lovemaking prowess. <laughs> Quote, most of my songs are, well, true. The, they are story songs, and I am really good at stories. I am a sex god, dear. He told this reporter, this uh, Rebecca Davison. Let me continue. He fits the profile of a Trump supporter. Let me continue. Right Quote, down the line. I can't use bad language, but people would ask me, how can a fat motherfucker like you go out with all these good-looking girls? <laughs> Oh, boy. Well, I can tell you why. <laughs> and it has to do with money. Oh, let me... Not his say, prodigious meatloaf? Let me, 
let me continue. Quote, I said because I am not going out thinking about what you are thinking about. These days, men don't open the doors. They don't do anything right. Truthfully, all they go out for is to get laid. I've never done that. It's not my first option. Never has been. And that's why I've gone out with all these good-looking women. End of quote. By the way, in this, also in this interview, Meat admitted that his first three-way was in high school with two friends, Cindy and Judy, apparently. And a golden retriever, I heard. He said, quote, oh, yeah, that was the first double I had. We were making out in the parking lot in my mother's car. End of quote. <laughs> apparently, she, his mother was an English teacher. <laughs> Let me let me ask you this, Jack. This if you're, let has, me ask let me ask you this. Go ahead. Do you, do you consider uh, using your left and right hand a threesome? Did I say that out loud? <laughs> Meatloaf. Yeah, Cindy and Judy. Which one's the left one? Which one's yeah. the right? I t- so so let me sum up this article by Meatloaf. Greta Thunberg is brainwashed. He's a sex god, and all men are looking for is to get laid. Well. Meatloaf, one out of three ain't bad. <laughs> Again, all you have to do is let these fools just run. Just run at the mouth. And here's the second one, second douchebag of the week. That that one's hard to beat. So Kanye folks, West. But he did beat it, or he at least tied it. Yep. Apparently, Kanye has celebrated the first anniversary of his Sunday service, or whatever you want to call it. So... According to a video obtained by TMZ, he said this, quote, they were p- trying to play T.I., but he's talking about something that is God-approved, end of quote. You want to know what that God-approved is? Here's what God supposedly approved, and this was rapper T.I. winning Douchebag of the Week several weeks ago because he took his 18-year-old daughter to the gynecologist every year to make sure her hymen was intact. <laughs> so Kanye says they were trying to play T.I., but he's talking about something. that. So God has approved that you're allowed to take your daughter, regardless of her age, force her to get a hymen test, so a pelvic exam to make sure her hymen is intact, and... You get the results. Those are my results. That's that's a direct quote from T.I. Do you see a pattern, ladies and gentlemen? Unbelievable. When you look at these Trump supporters, can you simil- see similarities? A yeah. guy checking his daughter's hymen yeah. for virginity. That ain't creepy as all get out, is it? Uh, another guy <laughs> whose name is Meatloaf, Meatloaf. Who claims he's a sex god. Sex god. <laughs> can we get these two buffoons on the stage when... When Trump has his his people coming out to speak for him, where, where is their convention? You're going to buy tickets to, I don't know, where's it at? Probably Mar-a-Lago, wherever. Per, yeah, yeah, who knows? These are the guys on stage. Yep. I tell you what, that's, uh, Kanye was already off my list of artists that I listened to, but you can scratch Meatloaf off, too. You can add them to my Never Play list that includes Alice Cooper Ted Nugent, Kiss, yes, Gene Simmons ruined Kiss for me. Now well, that's the lineup at the Republican convention for <laughs> it might be for the Republican Party. Damn, Start out with if, Ted Nugent right here from uh, from Michigan. If you're a, if you're a upper level executive with the GOP, you need to book this for your convention, folks. Yeah, these folks are right in your line of thinking. On seriously, friggin' believable, Jack. You know, and I'm kidding about this, but these, these spokesmen that you get are as whacked out as the evangelists. Get a couple of them. There's your lineup. Yeah. Nugent, Kiss, <laughs> then you get Meatloaf, and then how about Franklin Graham? Yeah. Who came so, out the other day and said that, did you know his dad supported Trump? Oh, Billy Graham that I know, and I'm, I'm no evangelist, and I'm no fundamentalist supporter in any way, Yeah. came out, I, I've got it in my notes years ago and said there should be no involvement with politics from the Christian church. I'll go a step farther. You know the guy that was the Republican most extreme conservative.